some medicine. What medicine is that? You could uh, take the sting off uh, the bridge this year when you really sore someplace like your legs and you put it with the beaver breeze and that I did. Mm -hmm. My dad was a sore uh, knee, couldn't walk. That's what they used for a week and after that it was okay. Mm -hmm. Start going again. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. Cedar. Yeah, cedar. Grows everywhere. Yeah. You can make cedar a while too in the spring. Yeah. You, 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 you boil it and it turns, till it turns sappy and it's good for pain. Yeah. Pain joints. When you have pains in your when joints. You boil this like when you have a cold. You mm -hmm. boil this and the steam goes. You breathe on it. So. You don't have that stucky chest here. It's open. That's okay. what I do with uh, my kids. My grandkid gets sick. I boil cedar. Then they're okay after. That one there is spruce. Mm -hmm. That's not spruce. That I'm going to take a few branches with me. We're here with Algonquin Cookums Shelley and Eliza, who is just here. Yar. Ah, oh, it smells so good. Too bad we don't have smell o vision on this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when we take something from the forest, we have to return, we have to put something back. So since I took some cedar, medicine and, and this is cedar protects us also I'm gonna give some tobacco in return do you grow the, your own tobacco? this is growing on this is yeah, this is the tobacco that's not factory or made. It's just as the, the original tobacco. Mm -hmm. Just like when I'm yeah. smoking. Yeah. And then you put it on the ground and you think you trade. You think you create it. Miigwech, Kriegego. Miigwech. Miigwech, Jesus. Minogu Zide. And that's your loon yep. call? That's my loon call. It was given to me, a friend gave it to me. Her son was my half-brother and he died early. He died when he was 27. Oh. And she knows I love loons. So she gave me this. And I was always with my half-brother. And uh, his mother was from Kentucky. And um, her son and I were very close. He was my half-brother. She knows how I love loons, so she's, she gave me this loon. And when I call with this loon, the loons answer. <laughs> if I knew how to do it with my hands, like she does. <laughs> Gorgeous lake. Oh, this is beautiful. Protect the water. Protect the water. Oh, look at this. And remember, folks, water is finite. It is not infinite. 
the water cycle it's been the same so when we destroy the water with fracking we take water out of the cycle <laughs> Someone's boat. Why four? Four corners. There she goes. <laughs> I also have a rock I found in the water. Um, it's a it's a grandma rock, Kokomis rock, and I found her laying in the water when my husband and I were hunting in uh, in the park, and I was left at the shoreline. Um, they went walking through the forest, and I, I was left at the shoreline, and I was just walking back and forth in the shoreline, and I found this beautiful rock, and she had all her colors, and I seen her in the water, and I looked at her, and I. I didn't pay no attention and I walk again and I seen her again and I looked oh it's so beautiful and I picked it up and I looked at it and all her colors stayed and I said, oh I better put her back this doesn't belong to me so I walked again and then I was just looking at different rocks and then they came out of the bush and then I started to uh, pack our stuff and that rock was just drawn to me I went back to the rock and I picked her up and I brought her, brought her home with me. And she's the, the Kokums, the women take care of the water. So I have her in my Jeep. This Kokumus rock, this grandma. And what it looked like, she has her shawl. And what it looked like when I picked her up, it looked like she was carrying a baby bear. She had something in her arms. And then when I showed it to a couple of friends of mine and they said to me, oh, I don't think it looks like a bear. It looks like uh, a baby. <laughs> a baby. But when I looked at it, I looked at it and it looked like a baby bear, a cub. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Uh -huh. Eliza has the same one as me. She found one too in the water. We find many gifts <clears throat> when we're in the forest. They teach us. Teach us. Teach us. And 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 um, when I uh, when I'm I'm supposed to pay close attention to the rock, and she, eventually she will speak to me and tell me. Tell me uh, instructions about the water. Oh, there she is. Let's see. Spin it around slowly. Yeah, do it this way. Wow. Isn't that awesome? It's like a mother holding her baby. Mm-hmm. There's a head up there. Mm-hmm. Her arm. 
And there's the baby. A giddy 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 She has one too. Cook'em rock. I'm going to bring her with me wherever I go. I'm going to come to the bush. I'm going to talk to her. She's another gift that I found in the water. One of the gifts that was given to me. And one of these gifts was given to me from my grandson. He made this. Oh. this put my medicine in there. <laughs> they grow so fast. Yeah, they do. <laughs> and here we are. I won't find a smoke. We're still recording. Okay. Anything more, you? Why am I finding smoke? You like to impart? There, um. You're calling bird. I'm calling my bird. And I always carry tobacco with me. And if there's something that should happen, we have the tobacco with us. And I always carry sage. I have lots of sage. The sage right now is not ready to pick. This was given to me from a friend. But the sage is not ready to pick yet. We picked the sage in September. Mm -hmm. When the flowers have fallen off the sage, then it's ready to be picked. What about sweet grass? The sweet grass? Um, when I, do you, you pick can, that? You can pick it any time when it's full, fully growing. As soon as you start to smell it, there you time to pick it. I think we need a charger. Do I have a charger? And here I have some maybe schwabble. That special hurt. tea? Special tea made with, um, what do you call those leaves again? Mm. Labrador. 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 It's lab there's Labrador mixed in there and other other herbs from, from, uh... Cedar, I think. No? Cedar? Yes, there's cedar, Labrador, and... and that girl will give us that thing there. What do you call that? From sage. What? That's what it is. Very cleansing. I had some earlier. Yeah, it's very, very good. Yes, you can taste the cedar really, really good. Yeah, because oh. I drank the whole bottle and my daughter gave it to me. Do you want to taste this? Now, Darky? Delicious! <laughs> Have some! <laughs> I wish we had smell o vision and taste o vision. Oh, that's a. Ooh, be she drank the whole <laughs> bottle. She drank the whole bottle. Woo! Chug, chug, chug. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Mmm. Nothing is, nothing is so best from nature. Nothing takes the place of nature. Better than a tea that you make. Mm-hmm. You would live very very healthy if we could continue yes drinking and, uh, this I also have another gift that was given to me and in your medicine pouch in my medicine pouch and because we are on turtle island and here's my turtle because you're from the turtle clan mm -hmm. and I got her this way And you turn her around. Mm -hmm. and put her this way. And there's a tree in there. Hey, zoom in. It's mm. so neat. 
and you couldn't see her face. And this almost looks like the face of a grandma. This is a turtle. And now you see the turtle Muckinucks. Canuck. Muckinuck. That's how you say turtle in Algonquin. Mm. In our language. Muckinuck. Mm. Mm. How do you say beaver? Amuck. Amuck. It's Gopit in Mi'kmaq. Mm. What clan are you, Eliza? Hmm? What clan are you? Wolf. Wolf clan. That was good, even the sweeper. Oh yes, this is Liza's gift. Went for BC. She was from BC. Mm -hmm. She gave me this. It looks like a baby. Yeah, all in a baby, woman, all in a baby. Mm. We've got a lot of reminders. Mm hmm. Now, when she says she will bring you something. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. I was, exp I, you know, why I have a hard time to speak when uh, I always take my time when I'm when I'm speaking. So one girl asked me, um, why, like, um, why, is, like, why uh, could you speak a little faster? And I said, uh, I'll try. And then I said to her, she, she says, well, I'll try. I said, but um, I'm a turtle, so I'm slow. <laughs> 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 turtle clan, I said, so I'm slow, and I'm going to take my time in what I say. Oh, she says, that explains it. I'm sorry, Shelly. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That no, reminds me of the people's social forum with all the simultaneous translations. People were speaking so quick and, this and the moderators were going, can you speak slower for the, it's better for the translators? Mm -hmm. Okay, and they start off slow and then they go to the faster. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd be, they'd love you. The translators would love you. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me up. This is mm. beautiful. Thank Yar. you for coming up. Yar. Taking the time. Oh, it's great. Yar. <laughs> oh, see, I knew the Cookums love to say yar. <laughs> <laughs> that was the rumor. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we just learned it from him. What? Oh, no, no, really? Oh, shucks. No, no. Not again. <laughs> Yar. Yar. Well, we'll get you on the live stream. Cause okay. I'm going back to Elsa Book Tug. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, because Shannon's been on it. We do a Skype. So we'll get you two on with Shannon. Again. Again. And again. And again. And again. <laughs> and again. And again. All right. Because we got to get the word out. Yes. You know? Yes, we do. Yes. Yeah. And the things they could do with technology today, it's mm -hmm. from we're here and then we're way across the ocean, we're in the other country over here, we're in this country there, and, and we're all over the place now. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Absolutely. Okay. Mm. Worldwide audience. Thank you. Congratulations. Yar. Yar. <laughs> Thank you, folks. Yar. <laughs>